Hi there, Chad here for the AI Content Dojo, and this is just going to be completely off the cuff because I've been hearing a, a, the similar theme several times uh, over the last couple of days, and especially today I've been asked probably three times now, uh, what can Shortly do and why uh, is it, you know, it's seemingly, I guess it's kind of seemingly this hidden gem that people maybe at first glance don't give it a a fair shot maybe uh maybe because it's so minimal um it doesn't appear to just give you everything real easily but it actually does and it's an incredible tool and it's actually more affordable than many of the other tools out there and so when you overlook it i think you're doing yourself a disservice but uh you know let me just show you why um one of the things that most people are looking for right now is how to create long form content using some of these AI tools. Um, m most of them that have been on the market right now are really good at just giving you like a paragraph or several paragraphs to choose from. And that's awesome too, it has its place. Uh, but there are times when you wanna just come up with a full article. And while there are some you know, thoughts to be had about whether an article should be fully AI generated or majority AI generated versus writing it yourself. Um, it's one of the things I, I discuss quite a bit. Shortly does a fantastic job of you working with the AI to come up with an article that you yourself would have written anyways in something that you know is good for your audience. Um, but I digress. What I wanna show you right now is kind of just really how you would use Shortly to produce what you want. And that's long form content. So on the left here, you have an article brief. I'm, I know that the mouse cursor is pretty tiny and I'm working on getting an app that will highlight the cursor. But over here on the left is the article brief. Essentially what you do is you just kind of tell it what you're talking about in this article. And at first you can put, you can make it something really kind of high level, broad term. And then as you're writing your article, you can apply a few more topical, topic rich keywords to kind of focus the AI a little bit more. Uh, that is not static. You can enter what you want there. And as you're writing in this document, you can go along. Uh, by the way, I'm also working on an update to uh, an article or I guess a review slash guide of, of, you know, some of the top, mm, I guess, AI writers on the market that are going to be what I consider the closest competitors to Shortly. But I'm also going to explain why Shortly is still the the top, even though there's been a lot of recent announcements and newcomers to the space. Uh, so long form content, what do you normally need, right? You need to know what you're going to write about. And so you need some topic ideas. You need to come up with headline ideas, possibly. You might want to outline your topic. You might want to create some answers for things that you're writing about, or, you know, you probably just want a good ability to write. So the thing about shortly is, is the AI power is kind of under the surface, right? You don't see a whole lot here, right? There's no clicking on tools or templates or, you know, insert this or insert that. There's a big write for me button and pretty much that's it. You get to choose how much you want to write, how little, you know, I always set it to a little and uh, because I like to sort of write a little, let the AI write a little, then I write some more, you know, kind of bounce back and forth, let it finish my thoughts. That's one way that you could use shortly. Um, that's like the, the, probably the most common way that you probably see when you first, you know, try the trial or something. But, you know, you want to get in there and you want to work fast. You want to create this long form content. And that means coming up with, you know, different things. So let me just break these down here a little bit. And let's long form content. That, that basically means coming up with ideas. Let me just uh, see what, we, what shortly can do. Give me some ideas about the ketogenic diet. Uh, looks like my dictation is not working. So let's just do it this way. Give me some ideas about the keto genic diet. Now, in shortly, uh, I could probably let it run just doing right for me, but there's a command. And I know that this is not very easy to see. On the lower right hand corner over here is a little cheat sheet. You can see a list of the commands that you can use. Instruct is the, the big deal. And basically everything is done in instruct if you want content from the AI. Just think of it as if you're asking for it. Like, you know, give me some ideas. You highlight it, and if you hit command, let me show you that cheat sheet again. It says command enter, right? Or 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 uh, control enter if you're on Windows. And all you do is you just highlight that. Command enter. And it triggers instruct and it wraps it in the command and, and runs it for you. 
And then it's going to come up with a bunch of, uh, of topic ideas. And then you go, okay, cool. How do I calculate my macros? That sounds interesting. So you might make that into your, your topic. And then you want some, and actually that's a pretty good headline idea, but you can still do it. You can say, give me some headline ideas about the ketogenic. Let me say the keto diet. Let's see if it, if it knows how to uh, take the, oops, I used expand, sorry. Different keyboard command. Um, so let me just show you something here actually. One, it's good good that I did that because you can do control Z to undo you can also down here in the corner you can see there's undo and redo let's assume that the AI that I, I ran the, the uh, command correctly and the AI didn't like or I didn't like the output from the AI I could just hit redo and it'll redo it again let me just change this to instruct and let that run and the next one I'm going to show you another way to run that command so that it doesn't disappear you notice that it disappears when you run it, uh, there's a way that you can do uh, that you can prevent that as well. So outline a topic. Now let's say that you know part of creating a long form content is you need to outline it so that you can write quickly and flow through you know the article as you're writing it and keep a narrative thread for your reader. So to create a to uh, and to outline a topic, you would just ask for it. You know, outline uh, create an outline for. Do I still have this copied? This might be a little awkward, right? How do you create? How do you create an outline for how do I calculate my macros? Um, but let's see what happens. I'm going to hold down Shift this time. Shift Command Enter will keep the command there while it also runs that command and pr pr produces the output. Yeah, it's not able to create that because if you think about it, how do you create a, an outline for for something so simple? Well, I guess in a way it kind of did it in a paragraph format, right? I'm going to say that's bad because I was asking for an outline. This is one of the other cool things about Shortly is that it sometimes it'll ask you, and if you answer this honestly, Shortly is going to learn in the long run how to do better and create better outputs for you. And so let me just uh, let me just see what happens when you do, when you do this some more about the topic as a as opposed to a sort of headline like that. Um, please create an outline for the ketogenic diet. And let's just see, let's rerun this again, but I'll keep the command again. Shift command, a shift command enter. Okay, so we're getting an outline and that's, you know, and every once in a while the AI does, does some interesting things. You're probably gonna see that's true across all the tools. GPT-3 sometimes <laughs> does things on its own. It is a smart tool, right? Okay, so now we're getting down into where maybe you want to create some answers to something. Like, here's a question that came up. What is an ideal keto meal plan? That's a question. So let's see um, if we can get, let's see if my dictation works this time. I'm going to say, please answer what is an ideal keto meal plan. Okay, so I have this now. If I highlight it and do command enter, I wonder if if shortly is going to be smart enough to answer that. Okay, there you go. So you, you ask for it, right? Please create an answer for, and then you let it go. Uh, another thing to be careful with is that, you know, OpenAI and GPT-3, they, they limit how much uh, output can come at once. So you might see it t at times where it provides a bunch of content and then it stops sort of kind of like mid thought almost. That's because GPT-3 doesn't want the scalable, massive output of content so that, you know, people are just auto-generating articles. So what you can do in Shortly, and um, is fairly unique to it, is that uh, now that I have a bunch of content that is about something, like this is about, you know, um, the immediate, immediate, uh, keto meal plan, I can do something like this, drop this here, and then like in, in Shortly, uh, I can cut off the context, which basically means that when I hit Write For Me, here when I'm down here where it says it says green drink from a list of healthy drinks on the site they, my cursor is at the end of site when I hit right for me it means that this stuff right here is what's going to be used to inform the AI of what I want which would be keto meal plan content right more about breakfast maybe show me lunch this right here cuts it off so that it doesn't keep going up here where this content is slightly different than the keto meal plan right so I can just go here and I can do right for me, which is just command enter. If I'm not highlighting anything, 
I just go here, command enter just does right for me, as you see in the, down here in the left hand corner, it's, it's writing. So there it goes, it's kicking off into lunch, it's kicking off into dinner. Uh, I could probably continue on, um, but what I'm gonna do now is just explain that when you're when you're using the AI, you're just writing. You know, this is, I've been showing you to this point the instruct command. The instruct command is sort of a universal thing. You can use it to get all kinds of content like outlines, answers, um, topic ideas, just ask and see what shortly returns. There's no credits, so it doesn't really matter if you um, experiment with things and it returns something that's, you know, maybe not quite what you want. Just redo it or change up the command a little bit and just to get what you want. But in essence, it's a, it's a tool where you can do some writing and I'll just say, let's do some writing about the keto diet. It is a really fantastic okay so i started my thought let me just let the ai continue it okay that's pretty good now let's say that i want to um let's just say that i want to expand upon lose weight fast right so i could type this i could say expand lose weight fast let me just put it with the keto diet so that it knows that i'm referring to the keto diet and then when, with my cursor at the end of that square, let me take away that period. With my cursor at the end of that square bracket, I can't command enter and it'll run that command. There's another way to do this. If you highlight the text and you do command right square bracket, that's right there kind of above the enter key or the return key, it'll also trigger that command automatically for you so you don't have to type anything. I just typed it because I wanted to add with the keto diet there. So let me just run this and it should provide me some more information about how to lose weight fast with the keto diet. Okay, and then it says the keto, the keto diet is, and you know we can just keep on going. Um, it, since that's already starting the thought, I can just do right for me again, and it's going to keep going. Mhm. Mm that's pretty good. Now, basically, at the end of the day, you just ask, and shortly does the work. And honestly, if you've tr if you tried shortly, I would say probably a month or so ago, and it didn't quite give you what you what you expected that there have been some drastic improvements in shortly in the last month particularly around how smart it is and getting you the content that you want but also the instruct command and the keyboard shortcuts just being able to work fast and get what you want out of it is a, is a big deal it's changed quite a bit i highly recommend it i wanted to make this quick i guess it got a little bit long but it's just me sort of off the cuff showing you why I think shortly is pretty awesome. I am working on a more thorough guide to this. So uh, just heads up more to come, but this is shortly in a sort of nutshell. And uh, I hope you give it a chance because it is pretty awesome. It's got a, a really great price for, for you know, compared to the competitors and stuff like that. So if you're looking for something that will give you a fantastic uh, return on investment, this is one of the tools that will do it for you. All right. Till next time, take care.